It is the Brothers Geek Out podcast, episode 206, guys. Hope you guys have been well and safe. Make sure you check us out on all streaming platforms, guys. We are not just on YouTube. We are on Spotify, Amazon, Google, and Apple Podcasts. Make sure you check it out. It's on SoundCloud as well, guys. Uh, Make sure you check us out on social media as well, Twitter and Instagram as the Brothers Geek Out podcast. All of our giveaways and everything that we're up to and our weekly updates are always up on there as well, guys. But how you been, bro? I've been good, bro. I have been good. Just um, no, I've got a week off work, so I'm excited for that. Just been a busy week, just getting back into things, trying to get my knee rehabbed and sorted. Got myself a fresh trim, had to take it down. Um, everything's cool, bro. Everything's good. Last couple of days of Ramadan, I got my tickets Ugh. booked for Doctor Strange. You know, exciting yeah. things. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, man, that's it, you know. Just it, just trying to get through. Just get through to Wednesday. Well, look, Eid is on Tuesday, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, not that I'm going to get up too much. I mean, I miss it because I'll miss being at home or whatnot. I haven't done Eid at home for eight years now. Right? I know, I know. I know. It's been a long time, bro. Uh, yeah. So you're anyway. doing it on Tuesday. We're doing it Monday. Yeah, we got on Tuesday because our Ramadan started a day after you guys. That's right, Monday, yeah. So. That's right, yeah. Yeah, so we got a public holiday on Monday, which is like Labor Day. And then Tuesday, we got a public holiday for Eid. And then I just took the rest of the week off to chill out. No, that's good. That's good. It's needed. I'm, I need some time off myself. So before everything all kicks off, definitely I'll have some. I'll have some time to uh, just recollaborate. Recollaborate. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, so much has happened, man. Uh, a, a lot. Yeah, a lot's happened. But yeah, let's just let's let's jump in. For me, today's my last day of fasting. So you know, everybody was prepped yesterday. It's quite funny. Everybody that I spoke to was prepped yesterday. Thinking, yeah, man, last day of fasting. Tomorrow's Eve. Really? I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go to that. And then told to be told, one more day. They were like, oh, man. <laughs> as soon as they so, heard that, they were like, I'm already hungry. <laughs> so wait, everyone really thought that today would have been Eid for you guys? Yeah, because, you know, past couple of years, it's been 29 days, isn't it? Mm, interesting. But it's the first Eid after a good couple of years where it's a 30-day fast, so... Uh, okay, no, okay. bless him. I mean, it's the listen, man. I know what it's like, uh, and the excitement of Eid as well. It's like our Christmas, it is our Christmas, basically. Uh, and you know, the kids get to have a lot more fun. We, we've made it much more fun now for them as well. So, yeah, yeah looking forward to it. Might be good. Uh, good to go, go see mom and dad as well. Uh, Don't do that, man. I booked, I booked a spot in the mosque. So I got an uh, early 7 a.m. spot. The only other ones got booked up quick, man. Oh, I didn't yeah. expect that. So, because in Singapore, like, it's still, it's open, but things, you're still going to book in, like, large congregations and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, So, I had to book that. Um, other than that, I'm just going to chill, man. Like I say, man, I miss being at home. But, you know, putting putting plans in place, putting plans in place now. So, inshallah, next year, you know, I'll be close to home. So, you know, stay yeah, tuned. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely, so we'll definitely. we'll see what happens. That'd be good, uh, that'd be good. So, I, I need to do an Eid at home or have you guys over wherever I'm going to be to do it either. I can't wait but anyway next month June I'm going to be in the UK anyway I got a new UK you New York trip booked uh um, mm. New York for work and whatnot so that's going to be pretty cool I'm going to geek out with you at home geek out in New York um so I'm looking forward to that in June so June should be a good month no um, definitely it will be that'd be quite good that's not long go back to, yeah we got to go back to the office next week so a bit basic but you know gonna get full time Nah, two days a week, two days a week, but it's kind of like got to get back into routine, figure out a new routine. Which hopefully I can get back into training. My yeah. next physio session, the, the, the physio, uh, the guy I'm working with, he's going to bring in his pads and we're going to start working on twisting and turning because right now I could do everything. I've got lateral movement, I've got stability, mm. I've got strength. It's just I still got pain in the area. Uh, in certain angles but next week we're going to start doing some twisting and turning with Muay Thai and if that works out then the week after I'm going to try and get back into training but yeah two days a week you know I'm going to cycle in I feel it's going to be a good little cycle into work Um, but yeah man other than that you know been watching Bear TV Ozark we're going to get into it loads of stuff been going on Um, Ozark I know we're getting to the list uh, but just saying Ozark final season's on such a good show kids did you ever watch that? Yeah, I did. I watched season one and two. I haven't, I haven't got up to season four yet. Oh, so good, so good, so good. Season four just got uploaded the other day. Watch it, bro. Watch mm. it. Great, great show. Bateman yeah, no, Jason Beckman's awesome. wicked in that, bro. And 
So good. He smashed it. He absolutely smashed that. So, yeah, no. You know what? I'm just going to have to start watching stuff on my phone. I know it's hard to watch stuff on TV, so I'm going to have to start watching stuff on my iPad and phone just to get through some of the, the programs and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, no. All good. Let's jump into this one because we haven't got much time today. I know you need to go break it fast as well. Uh, I'll start off with uh, sad news, but, I may, you know, Sad news with uh, artist Neil Adams passing away. Uh, he is one of, like, you know, one of the greatest artists in that comic book industry that played so much tribute to what well, contribution to the comic book industry, you know, and the fact that he was still doing it all the way till the end is just absolutely amazing, man. So, you know, Neil Adams revitalized, you know, back the character of Batman. You know, he made him look absolutely epic and had dynamic posing and the artwork that he did his facial expressions were uh, amazing as well uh and you know he co-created characters like you know Raz al Ghul and uh Raz al Ghul and uh the Mambat and then you know gave us our first black colored uh superhero which was John Stewart uh Green Lantern uh so yeah uh and it's, it's an immense loss to the comic book community and for artists as well that really loved his work uh, and he seemed like a really cool guy. I never got to meet him. I wish that was one of my artists on my list that if I ever got to meet him, if, if, he, if he was ever in the UK, that I'd go see him. But I, I didn't get that chance. Uh, so, I mean, bless him. I may rest in peace. Love goes out to his family. He was really family orientated type of guy as well. Even when he was doing his artwork, he'd have his grandchildren running around and the rest of it. So he's really he, he seemed like a really cool cat, man. Really cool cat. Yeah, no, amazing. Listen, you're, you're more familiar with the artist and whatnot than I am. So I saw um, I saw you and the rest of the comic book community out there on Instagram and whatnot, just showing tribute and whatnot. So, yeah. you know, out of respect, uh, uh, you know, rest in peace and whatnot yeah. uh, with his wife. But um, yeah, no, I'm glad, I'm glad, you know, like I say, he, he, he done a lot for the industry and uh, you appreciate him and a lot of the artists and comic book people out there appreciate him as well. No, like I said, I'm, I'm just not familiar with all the artists um and that details you're more familiar with that side of he's stuff. the he's yeah, the one who, he's the one who did the cover with uh, the comic book with uh superman versus uh muhammad ali oh sick amazing yeah. Well, he's that artist, yeah. yeah he did yeah. that and uh uh and then you know he fighted for creators rights bro so you know creators get you know artists get creative rights for the characters that they make you know what i mean you know the comic book industry was quite sly on that so uh, now creators who who make these characters get get what they deserve. Do you know what I mean? So, no, good on you, man. I'd love to. I'd love to read that Superman versus Ali one because I, I so it's just a one edition special edition thing, mm. right? And I'm very interested to see what it's about. I wonder if it's got to do with Ali after you know not fighting in the war, losing his belt, all that sort of stuff. Um, and, and nah, it's just just the no, battle no. between him. Yeah. I know, no, no, no. But what I'm saying, I wonder if that inspired that to happen because Ali was like a hero at the time. So it's like, Ooh. why not put him up against the greatest hero of all time, Superman? So I'm not saying it was about that, but I wonder yeah, yeah, if yeah. All, of, all of his actions uh, are kind of equated to that story of like, let's put him up against, because he's a real life hero. My yeah. guy, you, we don't get Ali's like, like, like that in the world where people Ooh. like will sacrifice their career at the peak of their career, money, fame, everything, taking the heavyweight championship away from them because of what he believed in and not fighting Ooh. the war. So I wonder, anyway, I, I don't want to take this thing away. Rest in peace, Neil Adams. Yeah, um, no, definitely. Uh, so we jump on to Arnold Schwarzenegger's new spy series. He's doing a spy for it on Netflix. On Netflix, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I saw something. I mean, I mean, it's great to have Arnie in a TV show, man. I mean, because TV is blowing up. So there's no yeah. such thing as a movie star versus TV star no more. Yeah. Whatever, it's, it's all awesome. So, uh, yeah, a spy series, though, with Arnie. I mean, it seems interesting. My, my guy has always been too big and stiff to be a spy, but um, he, I love Arnie, man. I love yeah, Arnie a bit, so... Anything that he's on, like, you got my attention. I'm in anyway. Bro, he was a spy in True Lies, bro. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. yeah, he is. I know, I know. And he had that, that backfish that he did to that guy, <laughs> Bill, Bill Paxton's character, who kept on talking too much. Uh, no, listen, mate, Arnold, man, it's good to see them guys doing still great work at this age, at this time. You know what I mean? You know, it's amazing to see their work ethics and that they're, they're still doing it. It's yeah. really did good. Did you see... Did you see the poster, the new poster for Expendables 4? Yes, bro, I saw it. I'm excited to see all of them come back together again. Uh, the movies are just 
just pure fun, man. You don't need to see anything. Shit. I'm not expecting much. Like I'm, I'm getting to see characters from my childhood, you know, still doing their thing, bro. Uh, so yeah. it'll be you a fun get together. That's like almost like the Avengers, right? Got all them characters, them actors coming back. Only thing that I swear if they did would have, which would have, I reckon, blown up the roof was if they all came back as characters that they once played in the movie, right? <laughs> so Arnie, Arnie was, I don't know, Commando and Ram, um, uh, Rocky, um, Stallone came back as Rambo. They were playing those characters in yeah. The Expendables. I mean, I look, I know, I know the different movies and different characters and emotions wouldn't have fit, but it's almost like the Avengers coming together because that movie, though, I love those expendable movies. The dynamics between them guys is just amazing. There's all these rumors that Sly's character is going to get killed off on this one. Mm-hmm. And the, the franchise is going to get passed over to the rest of the characters. Uh, statement, uh, that, uh, Jason State, Jason, wasn't it? Jason Statement. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, man, but I love the expendable movies, man. They, they have been freaking quality, just joy, joyful movies, man. No, they have, they have. It's good fun, man. I, I really enjoy it. They're easy to watch, bro. I'm not asking for much. And they're like the Fast and Furious series, which we're going to jump into next. It's easy to watch, full of action. Just just action, man. That's what I want to see. That's, That's all I want to see. Fun stuff. Fun yeah. stuff. Real quick on Netflix. They can- I just read they cancelled Space Force. Did you watch that? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. It was actually really funny, man. It was really awesome. You got um my guy. Uh, Steve Carell. Oh, Hilarious dude. I love Steve Carell. Mm. You had um Malkovich, John Malkovich, I think yeah, it is. That's it? right. Yeah. yeah, he was hilarious. But that show was really good. I really enjoyed it. I'm surprised they cancelled it. But Netflix is, you know, going through a lot of shit right now. I think they, they're losing a lot of business, right? They lose first time ever they've been losing subscribers. Mm. There's all these rumors that Netflix is gonna add on advertising somewhere to get more revenue. There was rumors that they're gonna, I don't know if it was rumors, but they were gonna take away sharing passport passwords. That's true. Um, That's I, happening. I feel like I mean Netflix was blowing up, man. They were the best in the, in the game. Um, and they were giving content out from everywhere, all over the world. Mm. I just feel like maybe because one, the competition. Two, maybe they did they did just spend tons of money on content left, right, and center. Maybe I don't know, like you know, and um free the competition. Well, you got Disney Plus, you got HBO, you got you know, there's so so many of them out there now. Um mm. Amazon coming out with it. Like th- there's so many streaming platforms out there. Uh there's the other one that was what were we talking about, we were talking about last week that's coming out with some new stuff. Um I can't remember, but there's so many competition out there. Uh, but yeah, Netflix, I guess they're canceling shows and just kind of maybe saving money where they feel like whichever ones didn't get the most, most stats up, let's um, let's cancel them out. But uh, anyway, moving yeah. on. Uh, Charlie's for one and Shaw, Shaw, uh, Song, Song Kong, Song mm. Kang will both appear in Fast X, according to Jason Momoa. Uh, both wrap up confirm, confirm the Fast X. Yeah, yeah. So all mm. of them guys are going to be in it. Jason Momoa is playing a bad guy. What's her name? Captain Marvel. Brie Larson. Lisa. Brie Larson's Brie Larson, gonna be yeah. in it. Fast t- listen, man. Again, like the expendables. This movie just exciting, fun, enjoyable, pure action. Nothing. Yeah, really no, they've got loads. They've got loads. Yeah. I'm not expecting too much. But we did get some sad news though this week as well with the director stepping down. What just fast? Yeah, Justin Wynn. He Justin Lin, he he uh stepped down. So I don't know who's directing it now. He's he only did a week in production and he, he, something must have happened. Oh, yes, I did hear Fat Man Beyond guys talking about it, actually. Yeah, yeah something must something, have happened. Because there was a video of... with, yeah, with Vin Diesel, and, he, you know, Vin Diesel was bare hyped about, you know, this is going to be the last one, it's going to be epic, but the director, he just did not... He didn't look like he was in it, bro, man. Like, it was something... Not enthusiastic. No, nah, man, something was up in that video. Did he do... How, how many did he do? He did a good couple Hello? of them, bro. From number three onwards or something, right? Yeah, four or five onwards. I think he did the first one. Let me just pull this up, man. Let me find that, man. Interesting, interesting. It's maybe to sound like some kind of beef or some kind of disagreement, maybe. I don't know. know Well, it could have been creative difference. Could be. I mean, I don't want to pull out false rumours or whatever, (laughs) but it's interesting that he's out on the last one. Yeah. I mean, that's not it's not the first time we've heard about it in this in this franchise. I mean, the walk being one of them, um, that was like, nah, I'm, I'm done with this franchise. I don't want it. He came in with an explosion. Like, he was awesome. And then he left <laughs> and done his own little spin-off. And he'd be like, nah, I'm done with this. And he doesn't want to work with Vin Diesel. So, I mean, I'm not saying it had anything to do with Vin Diesel, but it's interesting the director's out. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, so he did, yeah, he did on, I think he did after four, he started directing quite a few of them. Damn. Okay. I know, listen, man. Scheduled to release May 2020, May 19th, 2023. Would Next imagine, year. Right? Yeah. Wow. Next year, so still got some time for that one, a year from now, I guess. It's a lot of work, man. Can you imagine that? Remember movies used to take like five years to make and the second one didn't come out 10 years later, like Terminator and then. The production is nuts that it takes so gonna, so quick now, bro. That's what I was gonna say. It does feel like movies come. That's out like so a one year pro. That's like nine month process, bro. Yeah, no, but I'm sure they've already. I mean, they've sure. I'm sure they, they got their shot. shit together. Oh, they yeah, 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 yeah. But they got yeah. their shit together, I guess. I guess. Well, they lost the director probably for long things, but I'm sure they'll figure out what to do. I mean, listen, that money makes the movie. The money's yeah. that money makes it. That movie makes the money's, man. Ooh. So they'll figure it out and make some mass monies, and then. I, I don't I don't know if it'll be the last one, man. It makes the monies, and I feel, I feel like what else have the rest of them got going on? Like, exactly. Let's just carry on making it. Exactly, exactly. No, but good. I mean, all the best. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. Uh, Avatar Two will be titled The Way of the Water, bro, and release released December sixteenth, twenty twenty two. Right, man. That's a day before my birthday. Uh, mm-hmm. They just released some images. I just saw on Instagram. They've released some images. And uh, listen, man, you know, that first movie still topping charts, bro. And, and you know, people are really still loving that movie. Uh, it's a good film. You know, it's again. Am I right in saying it's almost like 10, 15 years in the making? I think so. I think so. I mean, my guy, um, James Cameron, Cameron, is... Uh, listen, he, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a pioneer, he's, he's a visualist, he's, yeah. he, exp- he takes things to the next level. Remember, he made up a whole new language for this shit, right? Yeah. For these avatars and whatnot. He goes in deep, so he deserves all the credit. And, I mean, listen, Avatar 1, I watched it once. IMAX, I remember that with Dad, remember, it was awesome. Oh. Uh, I, 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 you know, 2009, back then, I remember, bro. Yeah, 2009, and it's still... <clears throat> listen, End, Endgames beat it, right? Endgames beat it in the records, and then they brought it out in China just to kind of skim Endgames again, which was a good strategy. Yeah. Um, I feel like if you bought Endgames out in cinema, maybe Marvel will do that in the future. But then again, Disney owned the whole lot now anyway, but they yeah. might do it in the future to, 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 to beat it. But what do you call it? Uh, I'm, I, I'm not going to say I'm looking forward to part two like, I'm, like I am with the MCU or whatnot, but I would definitely go watch it and see mm. what it's about. Uh, and then let's see how it does, man, in the box office. I mean, it's interesting that this movie was the highest grossing movie of all time. Um, I, I didn't see why, but maybe I was too young or something. Maybe I, didn't, I wasn't deep into it. But apparently people really got into the idea of just being in a different world and, you know, going into an avatar into a different place. I don't know. Maybe it was the beginning know? of like a lot of things, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's slightly touched on real world issues like, you know. Americans invading into different other countries and causing all sorts of shit. Stealing know. all their stealing all stealing their all resource. resource. You know what I mean? You don't wanna you don't wanna say you don't I don't wanna put the exact history on it, but you know what it is though. Like like I don't wanna say it anyway. Stealing the man's <laughs> that the people's resources as 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 human beings do, pull it that way. Exactly, uh, exactly, exactly. But yeah, no, listen, looking forward to you know, dad gets to go to IMAX and watch the, the story continue. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, take that. Yeah, make sure you take that to uh, to watch that one. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. Uh, hey, I might be. I might be in a. You know, it's Christmas time. Uh, around that sort of time, I come down home. Yeah, we um, could be together. Yeah, definitely, that'd be good. Maybe. maybe. Cool, that'd man. Good. What else? All right, Jump Chris the... Evans and Ryan Gosling try try out mustache. Try out mustache each other in the <laughs> new grey man image. Have you seen it? They got a new movie yeah. coming out, and yep. it's the most. Apparently the most expensive Netflix movie ever made, and it's the Russo brothers. I mean, yep. Ryan Gosling, Chris Evans, Ryan Gosling's Mr. Handsome. I thought he retired from acting. I swear I read that somewhere. I think that this is his last one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, you got the Russo brothers, who obviously we love them from the MCU movies they made, and um, some uh, they're amazing directors. But um, the most expensive movie of Netflix, which is interesting. So I wonder what it's about. Um, but yeah, I saw the images. Both of them have nice mustaches and whatnot. Uh, suits them both but interesting none of a good, good movie to look forward to i guess yeah no definitely man uh i think the russo brothers are doing like different projects since they left the marvel stuff uh so i'm excited to see what they do because i think their last they did what did they do they did 21 bridges with chadwick boseman which i really enjoyed uh, i know they were they producers the one, on that they done the one with tom holland right remember where 
what was it called, man? The one with Tom Holland. I can't remember the name at all, man. It's in my head, but they, they it was on Netflix. Smaller. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and it had Robert Evil. Pattinson in it. I think so. Like Evil See Me, I See All Evil, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're awesome. Anyway, but yeah, something to look forward to, man. No, definitely, definitely. Uh, it's good to see this name come up on the list because I saw this on uh, social media as well. You see, Tobey Maguire comes back to play Charlie Chaplin in Damon Chazelle's Babylon. Uh, Charlize Theron is, is Charlize, uh, sorry, not Charlie Theron, Charlie Chaplin. Sorry, what am I talking about? My <laughs> tired games, man. Uh, <laughs> Toby Maguire, bro, Spider-Man is back, bro. It's good to see awesome. that. Good to see yeah, that. Yeah, he is, he is back. It is good to see that. And Charlie Chaplin, I think it would be interesting. RDJ played Charlie Chaplin one, yeah, in one thing, right? So yeah. I'm sure um, Toby Maguire do a good job. It's great to see him back. Talk about Spider-Man, you though. Andrew Garfield is is talked said that he's going to take a break from acting. He's going to step uh, away. Yeah. Step away for a little bit. So he's going to. Th- I mean, it's all, a blessing, guess- bro. The guy went through a lot. He lost his mum. He was doing all these films, uh, and you know, he just wants. He said he wants to take some time to be normal. You know, that's that's amazing. Well, I guess people had hopes that he's going to come back for Spider Man Three. I guess he's like, nah, I'm, ch- I'm chilling. I'm, I'm chilling. chilling. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, but yeah. Look, Toby Maguire, man, awesome dude, man. Also, I love that they <laughs> they always show him with paparazzi because they piss paparazzi piss the shit off. They they piss him off so much, and he's always so angry. <laughs> it's funny, man. Toby did, 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 did. I love those little video clips, and you know when the guy <laughs> buckles and he starts laughing and stuff. Uh, <laughs> listen, uh, good on Toby Maguire. Uh, and the press get get off his ass, man! Come on, man! What are you gonna do selling uh, those pictures to who? Nobody reads newspapers no more, man. Uh, uh, even well, websites don't even pay that enough money to get good pictures. You know what I mean? So just take it easy, man. Relax. Uh, so that was. Uh, yeah, that was that. What's the next one? Anna Anna D Amas yeah. starring John Wick spinoff Ballerina. So um, Anna D Amas. She's from? the one. She was also in. I think she was in last in the last um, James Bond movie. I'm pretty sure it was her. Yes, yes, yes. All oh, right, that'd yeah, be yeah, pretty yeah. cool. Cause she was she was funny in that part. And like, yeah, you know, she had such a short part. You're like, oh man, very short part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay, cool. You know, but that could be good because you know what? Yeah, because John Wick's so awesome. You don't want it to end. But if you do spin-offs, maybe that might work. You know yeah. what I mean? Like. Have the same universe. So I think it's in the same universe. I don't think she's going to be in a movie with John Wick, but it's in the same universe or whatever. Okay. So it's all about the John Wick. Listen, MGU started off this universe business and everyone's kind of on it. Uh, why not, man? If they could do a John Wick universe, let's do it. Because John Wick's one of my favorite movies and Keanu Reeves is just awesome. Uh, so I'm looking forward to part four. But yeah, if they're doing all these spin-offs with the same sort of action, last week we spoke about Streets of Rage and they're doing the same, those guys are making that movie. If they can pull off the same sort of action and and um, and stuff like that, that'd be awesome. I would mm. love to see more of that. I'm not done with that, that kind of entertainment. So yeah, fun stuff, bro, fun stuff. No, definitely. I mean, listen, a lot of this, uh, yeah, no, we'll get onto that. Uh, but you've got, uh, yeah, universes, man. The The... The Marvel Cinematic Universe has, universe has really, really opened up opportunities to grow. You know, who would ever thought? You know, like Rocky's a universe now. You know what I mean? Yeah, King Kong and Godzilla was a universe. Like, yeah. Listen, the MCU started something big, um, and they're still carrying on. And why not? You can, you can. I'm not saying you have to copy them, but why not take a bit of that blueprint and apply it to your own thing? Like, exactly. Absorb what works and disregard what doesn't. Bruce Lee. Um, exactly. Anyway. I'm, I'm down for more John Wick type movies, pull it that way. Me too. Um, what else we got next, man? Legendary Keith David is down to voice Marvel's Beta Ray, Beta Ray Bill. Not, what did I call him last week? Billy, 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 Billy Bob, Bob Ford. Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Um, yeah, he was down for that. So when I read that, I'm, am I thinking, am I thinking he's in part four in Thor, uh, Love and Thunder, and Keith David is like, yeah, I'll be down for playing that. Like, kind of throwing it out there. Or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or is it, is it is it supposed to be like, he's down for playing it. Like, he's not in Thor, Love and Thunder. But if he ever shows up, I would love to be in it. Do you know what I mean? I feel like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a weird game. one. Because when they, some, when they do stuff like that, then, you know... And you know what? Keith David would be an awesome voice, bro. He, he's like yeah. the guy, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's yeah. like that so, classic... Yeah, he'd be perfect for that. If he, if they do that, then, you know, good on him, bro. Uh, it'd be good to see him voice that character. It'd be absolutely... I, 
I'm very confident that he's going to be a Thor Love and Thunder. I am. I, I think that was a hint. I think that was a little hint of saying I'm in there, but I can't say I am. So I'm just going to say, oh, I wouldn't mind voicing him. He's in there. I, I don't know. I have this feeling. We'll see. Um, okay, what else? Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse will have 240 characters, six universes, and the largest crew of an animation film. What the hell, man? What are they doing? They're doing some good shit. It looks like they're doing some good... Listen, Sony, I love you. Playstations and shit. Um, the, but your movies, the Marvel movies, you're losing, right? The animation, though, you're killing it. Mm. Whatever they're planning to do with this sounds big, bro. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's what I'm saying, bro. Because, like, listen, that first one was like a test, yeah? It, they probably didn't even think that was going to be really well taken, bro. But, bro, the story was amazing. The script was amazing. The heart that went into that movie and the way it looks, like, there's nothing else that's going to compare to that, bro. Like, nothing else. Uh, and you brought all of these characters together. Sick, bro. Absolutely awesome. Listen... I'm super excited to see across the you know <laughs> across the Spider Verse, part one and part two. Uh, this is gonna two two hundred and forty characters like because they own just the Spider Man universe. Like, is there two hundred and forty characters? Or are they gonna make up a bunch? Like, what, what the hell is going on? We will see, bro. Because if I don't see like what you said about Keith David, you know, voicing something like that, and but yeah, I'd love to do it. Like, you know, Marvel have probably got some sort of. If they do bring characters in, they have some sort of understanding, bro. And remember, bro, yeah. that's kicking into multiverse of madness, bro. You well, yeah. I mean, well, yeah. Look, I mean, but this is different, right? This is Spider Man's animated. It's it's very different, right? And whatnot. I mean, look, they could bring in, of course, all the villains from Venom, Venom, Carnage, and all that sort of stuff, right? They could bring in Tobey Maguire and. Tom Holland and their Spider-Man and Andrew yeah, yeah. Garfield into that universe, into that animation universe. Why not? Um, hey, listen, listen. Oh my god! Imagine multiverse of madness. You know when they're going through the different. Multiverse. Imagine they end up through that multiverse in an animation and they come out. Um, you don't know the shit that. The they thing is, do. we don't know. We've seen a couple of clips where they've already exposed some animation involved in there. Listen, so listen, listen, we. <laughs> oh, a week away, bro. We're a week away, bro. Anything can happen. I booked, bro. I booked it twice already, bro. I booked it for Wednesday and I booked it for Thursday morning. I don't give a shit. I booked it twice. Uh, yeah. I, I knew this is going to be a definitely a, a possibly a three rounder, but I had to book it twice. Um, but yeah, look, I know we're getting into Multiverse of Madness, but to finish off with that Spider Man one, um, I, I can't yeah. wait because it's I'm awesome. excited, it's bro. Shame. Definitely, it's going to be delayed. But we'll quit with Multiverse of Madness, like I said. Don't watch it, and I've said to you, but the new TV spot, I was like... Pfft. I've already so seen it, bro. It's basic. Oh, okay. Yeah, basic. Well, can I, I can look. It's a TV spot, so it's no spoilers, but let's talk about it, bro. Bro, come on. The, Professor X is yellow. You come on, that was sick. That was sick, bro. Come on. I was I was like, boys, I want you guys to watch it, but I don't want you to watch it. Like this but come on, bro. That's sick. Oh my god, they're killing it! And then you got obviously you saw Captain uh, Britain, yeah. which was awesome, Sharon Carter and whatnot. Mm. Okay, cool. I did not need to no, see Peggy that. No, Peggy Carter, man, Peggy Carter. Peggy Carter, Peggy Carter. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I did not need to see her. That was I was more annoyed with that than I was with the yellow Professor X because I've seen Professor X. You already put me in the trailer. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. So that's that's fine. Yeah, but doing that, that's the same thing I said as well. It's like shit, motherfucker. Why, why put Captain uh, Captain Britain? Why put her in there? I, 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 that was, I was, that was basic. That, that annoyed me. But anyway, that's what I'm saying. Like, could you, like, bro? This is what I keep saying. They're giving this shit to you in the trailers. Could you imagine what they're holding out? Oh my god, I'm gonna for Wednesday. I'm gonna be like, Psh. but um, bro, the yellow, the yellow wheelchair. Come on, man. Listen, Marvel are the best. Are the best at costume design at the best I can, listen listen a police officer wears a uniform right mm. the army they wear a uniform fire guy fire brigade uh, men and women they wear a uniform a uniform represents mm. right the x-men the mcu the characters superhero characters we grew up their uniform represents them so the fact that they were taken away with all these other fox movies and whatnot it took away a bit of, of, of the character away yeah 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 Marvel, Marvel fully understand that even though they don't do it 100% comic book accurate, it's, it's very accurate for movie and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It they, is. 
fully understand that the uniform represents the character or whatever they look like represents that he bro, it, they're, they're gonna put him in a yellow thing man come on man i don't even know what to call it man because it hovers and it's shit. this yellow <laughs> hover chair bro his yellow hover chair it's gone right in my head oh. now man his oh my chair. god that He's yellow wicked. was wicked that was a beautiful yellow i don't care bro. <laughs> It I'm made excited. me so happy. That was so yeah. sick, bro. Two more days. I booked it. I can't wait. Going to be the best day ever. Sorry, let's move on. Before we go into the next thing, um, I just wanted to say on the top of Spider-Man, did you hear that Reb- the reggaeton superstar Bad Bunny will soon become a superhero? The Latin Grammy... So he's a Latin Grammy Award winning duo. Yeah. He's playing a Spider-Man a villain, I think it is, called El... Morito, El Morito, who's El like Morito, a, yeah, that's right. He's El a, Morito, yeah. He's like, a, is he like a luchador? Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. Apparently, he had. He apparently, I don't, I don't know the story of him, but he was in a couple of issues. He's not a big character. It's very interesting that they were just, and it's a standalone movie. And like Sony, do you really know what you're doing with your characters? I mean, why? Bro, listen, man. You know they, they. You know, I mean, we we haven't even touched base on Craven the Hunter. And uh, they've released some images of uh, Aaron in, 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 you know, they've started filming already. I've got no idea where they're heading with some of these movies, bro, because if they do bad editing like they did with Morbius, then you're like, oh, man. You know, Morbius could have been a great film. It could have been like a new age Lost Boy, bro, but they... They lost it. <clears throat> the they trailer just, I, made it out to be like that, but... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like... There, you know, there is some good things about the film, but then, you know, overall editing and story-wise just didn't merge up. So I'm I'm, I'm really lost on what they're looking to do. They're bringing another character that not, you know, listen, uh, diverse, diversity-wise, yes, that's amazing. I just don't know, man. The character's like this big, chunky guy. This guy is, looks, Bad Bunny looks like some skinny dude. But exactly. And, and even for diversity-wise, like, are you forcing it for diversity? Because if you force it and you make a shit movie, you, you're, I feel you're jeopardizing the diversity. You'd just be like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're throwing it in to be diverse. But then here's a shit movie for you to show you that we're well. Yeah, this, this is what but I'm no, saying. There's no heart. Do it, yeah, if you're going to do it, do it well. Or do Miles Morales. If it's got to do with diversity, do Miles Morales. Well, they've done it in animation. But yeah. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Listen, and I, I wish Sony all the well, all the <clears> success. <throat> especially with your PlayStations and shit. But with the Marvel movies, I kind of want them to fail because I just want them to be like, for Marvel to be like, listen, just, just make the deal. Don't, don't, you're gonna, your movies are shit. So just keep up giving back to the MCU. And like I said, we'll give you a cut. That's what I hope. I don't want them to fail. And I love Jared Leto and all that sort of stuff. But those movies, that movie was basic. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> it almost, almost make me feel like, please, just make a deal so we can see maybe Morbius and Blade in a movie. Like, just make the deal with Marvel. Just keep mm. the characters, just make the deal. So I'm kind of glad that their movies flop, uh, just so because it, it, they're going to have to make deals and, uh, you know, and what do you call it? Because they got a contract, right? They've got to make a movie every three years or something. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Some shit like that. So, so they're just they trying to fill it up with villains. It's like, oh, but man. If they make, I, if they, yeah. Yeah. If, if they make, keep making shit movies, eventually they're going to be like, guys, let's, not, let's, let's, let's just make the deal with Marvel. Let Marvel deal with those characters. We'll just, you know, take in some of the profits. And then we can see, bro, like I said, some, you know, Venom in the MCU. We can see Blade and Morbius. We can see, you know, all of the characters in there. So yeah. anyway, that, I just, that one, I don't know. I have no idea. But I guess I'll watch it. Pull it that way. No, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I mean, just to actually, some of uh, we've probably mentioned it, but CinemaCon happened last week as well. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. And there's loads of trailers and footage and posters and loads of things that came out. And this is a mixture of the list that you put together as well. So mm-hmm. while I'm doing my weekly update, I'll remember, like, remind everybody like where most of the news came from and most of the footage came from will be from like CinemaCon. But let's jump on to sure. Captain Marvel I mean- and Ant Man. Free, huh? Yeah, release date. The release date's changed. So they've just so changed them over. Ant Man Free is going to be released early next year. Then then Marv, Captain Marvel mid mid year. So I think Ant Man Free is like February March, and then uh, Miss Marvel later. So I don't know if that's got right. anything to do with the story or anything got to do with production. I don't know. But you know, Marvel and them lot. Kevin Feige said that they're going to plan off the next ten years of MCU um, <laughs> season, you know, phase five has been very emotional. We're in the middle of it. It's, it's mad, multiverse of madness and everything. 
Uh, but the next 10 years, bro, think about what they're thinking about, man. Uh, but on that, unfortunately, we lost the director of Fantastic Four, John Watts, who mm-hmm. done Spider-Man. So mm-hmm. I don't know what happened there, but that's a bit of a shame because he's done a great job with Spider-Man. I think done an amazing job. But, you know, I'm sure Marvel are great at, at who they hire. So they'll get a great director of Fantastic Four. You can't- yeah, I'm sure they will, bro. I'm sure they will. I don't think they'll, 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 they'll get somebody good for that as well, bro. Uh, yeah, John Watson. I mean, with it, I think he wanted to just do some something different. He's done a lot of superhero movies recently and probably taken up 10 years of his life. So he probably wants to do some other projects, which I don't blame him. Every artist does, they want to do something different, want to try something different. So good on him, man. Definitely good on him. Yeah. Uh, all right. What else, man? Long list. What have we got here? Terry Crews <clears throat> joins the MCU's Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, he plays, I can't remember exactly what it was, but he plays. He's in the movie anyway. Uh, so that's awesome. I love Terry Crews. Yeah, that's hey, good listen, to see Terry. If he, if he does a little robot dance in there, I wouldn't be surprised. Him and, <laughs> him and, him and Peter Quill doing a dance-off. I don't know if he's got that sort of part, but him and Peter Quill doing some kind of dance-off would be absolutely hilarious. Uh, but I love Terry Crews, uh, one of my favourites. So it's great to see him in the MCU in uh, Guardians of the No, Galaxy. definitely, man. I'm looking forward to seeing him. Looking forward to seeing him in that. Uh, so as we said, man, CinemaCon, they've... they've uh, uh, they uh, let us know some exciting news. So the Ghostbusters Afterlife sequel is going to be happening, which I'm very happy to hear. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure where they're going to go, but if it is from what we saw in the uh, post-credit trailer, uh, post-credit scenes, then I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. I'm going to ask Ernie Hudson when I see him at Comic-Con this July. I'm like, bro, Ghostbusters ass. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> Tell me, man. Yeah, awesome. Have you got have you got tickets to see him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go see him, get a photo awesome. with him in the in the Ghostbusters outfit and his proton awesome. pack. Uh see. so I'm excited to meet him. Uh we got some good guests coming over in Comic Con, man. So you know, Christopher Lloyd and part of the Back to the Future uh guys are back again, so I'm definitely going to see, see them as well. <laughs> yeah, exciting times. You got Ghostbusters, you got the ET. It's a really 80s one, this Comic Con, because you got the all the cast from ET. All the cast from Gremlins, you're like, what the hell? I don't know where to go, bro. Like, it's gonna be, wow. it's gonna be a mad busy one, mad busy one. But yeah, no, excited to hear that Ghostbusters Afterlife is getting a sequel. I thought it was a great film, really touching. We had a lot of heart, you know. So I'm excited to see that. Uh, Venom. While we're on the Sony part, Venom is uh, having number three greenlit as well, which is gonna be good. I don't know where they're gonna go with the story. They killed off Carnage. Spoilers. Sorry, people. Sorry, sorry. Mm. But it was a good film overall. It was good to watch, but I just don't know yeah. where they're going. You know, this is like, you know, Venom and Carnage are arch enemies of Spider-Man. They're like his rogues gallery. You know, he's, him and Batman have got the best rogues gallery, but they keep killing off these characters, man. Allow it, man. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep it on. We'll that, And then you've got B- Bitchman. Batterson, Batterson, Patterson is supposed to be. I don't know why. No, no, no. You got. Hold on. We're, we're gonna get on that. So the Cape Crusader is in a sequel. So Matt Reeves announced that yes, they're gonna do oh. number two, which is um, which is awesome. I'm excited. You know, that's amazing, of bro. Of course, it makes all the money in the world. I watched it yesterday again, bro. That opening seal scene still the best. Penguin still awesome. Patterson, I'm loving him as Batman. Listen, yeah. I love that movie. It's one of my favorites. Uh, definitely one of my favorites and i've heard a lot of people just loving it and whatnot yeah uh, so of course they're making part two hopefully we get more of the joker maybe hopefully we get more characters i don't know uh i want to see more penguin let's see what they do with it man but definitely i'm up for it. and you know what's gonna be great about this one i think he, he, we're gonna see a different batman because patterson's have learned he's learned this one remember he was vengeance Mm. So let's see what he's going to be in the new one. Let's see how he's going to learn. He might be more friendly towards Alfred because I don't like the way he treated Alfred. Yeah, yeah, um, Alfred got it, man. Angry little emo bastard. Um, <laughs> I wasn't happy with the way he treated But, you know, he might have more love and compassion for, you know, he, he just might have more hope in his heart rather than just being so angry. Um, and then he might be more strategically uh, smart and combat smart and all that sort of stuff. So I'm looking for But forward. you know what? I think you see that change in... You know, after Alfred, well, you know, it's, it's bad. Alfred wakes up, smiles at him, and he'll be like, you lied to me. You lied, you yeah, bastard. Yeah. You lying bastard. You lied to me. And, you know, but towards the end of it, you know, when he said, you know, that fear of losing somebody that I care for, he does care for him. He's just a bit harsh with him. 
I feel like he'll learn a little bit more from that. It's like, shit, I, I almost lost somebody else close to me again. Yeah. I don't want that happening every... I don't want that fair. You know, he thought he mastered it. But I love the way he talks in this as well, bro. Like, the way he I, talks. I, yeah, I don't think... I think we're going to get a change, man. I don't think he's going to be... I, I have a feeling that the emo ness will slowly disappear. I'm not going to say he's going to become a confident Bruce Wayne, but I think that emo ness will disappear, if that's the right word to even use. But I don't I think know. He's gonna, I think it's uh, politically incorrect... But he's uh, dark- maybe, maybe <laughs> darkness, 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 his darkness. His, his upness, upsetness, and his darkness. But uh, listen, bro, uh, I'm excited to hear that. That's actually great news, great news. But then I want to know what this Batman, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I don't know, man. It's supposed to be Batwoman, bro. Batwoman cancelled after seasons. <laughs> don't mind the spelling, though. it's probably a spell check thing, man. I'm just Batman, writing- Batman, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, that's cool. Batman, yeah, Batwoman, uh, CW. Bro, those CW shows. Listen, I saw an image. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the actual image because if you scroll across, it's got, you know, it's got one of them joke. Um, them, I think it's one of the uh, one of the news anchors from Nigeria who's busting up laughing about something. But it has the picture of I don't know what's happening in that show, but Batwoman. And then a Batman who's like looks like an Iron Man type Batman. I yeah, that's Lucius then, Fox's son. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I mean, they looked joke to be honest with you. But then if you scroll on the Instagram post, you got this dude busting up laughing, and I couldn't help it because it looks so basic. I'm sorry, man. The CW shows like why do you waste budget and whatnot on this? Why don't you just put that money and just put put all that money with all those shows you're making into one good HBO show like they did with. Titans. Titans. I make another one of that uh, because these CW, CW shows, man. I'm not, bro. I don't even watch it. I don't even give them a chance, man. Flash, Supergirl, this Batwoman, they look basic, bro. Flash was poor at the end when I saw them lightsaber and Power Rangers and up and shit. Like, I'm sorry, man. I don't. I, I generally don't like to hate, but those CW shows crack me up. And that Batwoman, you know, it is what it is, man. Lose. It's so hard, bro, man. Like I praise them for for getting the content we get now and i think legends of tomorrow legends of saturn that got cancelled as well i'm actually surprised that went on because after a couple of seasons i was like this is very uh, well, so i i mean i watched i stopped watching that after the first couple the first season i was like what the hell is this man i'm sorry man but uh schofield and his brother, his brother. So, that's all i remember from that show prison break the prison break dudes cracked me up in that show they were still in prison break so. <laughs> Michael Schofield. Michael Schofield. His, what was his brother? Brother's name? Like, I can't remember his brother's name. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me let me let me check my prison break. That's all I can remember, man. Um, just those two from that show. <clears throat> Let's see. This is the character's name. Lincoln. <laughs> Lincoln Burroughs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah yes. <laughs> my guy, man. My guy was hilarious. He reminds me of Javid for some reason because he has an oversized head uh, for his body. <laughs> Love the dude though, he was in Blade and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, listen, uh, uh, them shows, yeah, it's a hard watch, you know, but bless them, they put a lot of time and effort into it, but make them look like, because you know what, there's one thing that is working, bro, and I'm really enjoying, Superman and Lois. Yes, and I stopped watching it, and I will get back into that, that one wasn't too bad, um, yeah. I was enjoying that one. And it's interesting what they've one. done in season two, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying that, so, like, give it, it doesn't have to be a dark tone, bro. Like, have a bit. I think the visuals kind of just went. The CW shows just kind of like, oh man, the budget just dropped one time mm-hmm. because you want to mm-hmm. get out so many shows, and it's a hard thing to watch because you end up thinking, oh, this is just looking like how, as you said, this is nice. I'm Power Rangers games, and don't get me wrong, I still love Power Rangers. You know, true. I still, I, I still enjoyed like- it. I still enjoyed it for That's what true. it was. And even yeah, the no, new no, movie, cool. bro, the new, the new movie they bought out, that was actually really good. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't too bad. We, so it's we like... With Power Rangers. I don't mean I, to cast the flash. I'm just saying after season, eight seasons, it was just like... Anyway, remember yeah. after season three, they lost me. I remember, yeah, yeah, I, same I, I remember the point. because I remember after season one, I was so invested with yeah. Flash. I was like, I love this show. It was so emotional. It was so awesome. Season two was good. And then season three, they had an episode where they were singing. And I was like, all right, I'm done. You lost me. Yeah, uh, same and I think That was it. It, it, it was when um, 
Twilight, not Twilight, Twinkle Twinkle. What's that show, man? So, um, Brian Gosling and Emma Stone. Oh, La La Land. La La Land, yeah. yeah. It's when that movie came out and I feel like they just kind of jumped on this bandwagon. singing bandwagon. Oh my yeah. God, what the hell was she doing? <clears throat> anyway. Anyway, that anyway. happened, that happened. All right, bro, Look, let's get on to this. I've, let's get on to the main event, which we, which has been the weekly show of Moon Knight. Uh, episode five happened. The spoiler review was up and whatnot. Uh, and let's just talk about. I want to get your point of view on things. I got I got my iPad out because I took notes and whatnot. Uh, but allow me to just quickly say what I think mm-hmm. this episode was about. To me, as I said on my spoiler review, this was the origin story of Moon Knight because I love like it, and it, they, the way they done it was so awesome. I just love the way that it wasn't like episode one. Here's the story. Oh, he he, you know, he had a traumatic childhood. All this sort of stuff go up to the point where he meets Kong Shu and it's like, you are my moon knight. But right? mm. it was it was put into a, a story of him overcoming his traumatic um, childhood yeah. and what got him to that place. And just the way they done it was absolutely awesome, trying to find the balance between him and Stephen. But I think, like, uh, what did I write down? His, his traumatic history and how he developed his alternative personalities. Steve's character was to was to live in, his, in a life of denial of his mother's rejection and abuse. <clears throat> the scale only balanced when the personality of Steve was, Steve was killed off because this shows the imbalance in his mental health. Now, I was yeah. talking to the white, the missus, because you know she does counselling and whatnot. Yeah, so that yeah, was yeah. what she took away from the show. And this is what we think in regards to the three characters, right? you got Mark, who lives with the guilt. you got Steve, who's unaware, and he's supposed to be the character that um, is, is away from all of that stuff, right? He was a character that was... Um, created to, to, to uh, avoid the abuse and whatnot. And then you got Jake is the angry one because he's the one who took the abuse. So this is what I think, because remember the beginning of that episode, so I'm not putting my own notes away. Remember that beginning of the episode? We, that was Jake Luckley. That was, like, I didn't, that was. I, I didn't clock, but he had the bruise on his nose. And I was thinking, wait, does that represent the beatings that he took as a kid? Because remember he took, he took beatings. But I think Jake took all the beatings. I think it was Jake because when he's, <clears throat> when he was a kid, Remember, and they were in the room and he was just about to take the beats. He turned into Steve, right? That was the first time we see Steve. And I was a, I was a yeah, really hard right. moment when Steve Very realized that he, his, he was made up. But as soon as the beat, but Steve didn't remember the beatings. So no. that means a character change happened again. This is what I think. A character change happened again. And I don't think it was Mark. I think it was Jake. And Jake, that's why yeah. I think Jake, he took all the abuse. And that's why Jake's the most... Uh, uh, what you call it, man? Abusive one and a more violent one and whatnot. Yeah. So that's what I think, man. But that 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 episode five, what I personally thought was awesome as an origin story, and I think the most deepest MCU character we've seen so far with with a traumatic upbringing of of his brother dying and his mother abusing him and blaming it all on him and him living with that guilt i mean you can't even imagine what someone can be going through to the point that he creates you know these characters in his head Um, but anyway i I mean look i spoke about it more and i'm talking about too much what do you what what did you think what's your take on that episode now listen bro as as i said it's a a crucial episode in the season and it is all about mental health. This, this is all about somebody who suffers this split personality disorder and the guilt of holding on to what he has, bro. Like, you know, it was a heartbreaking episode. <clears throat> and it's becoming one with that and realizing, like, listen, I'm I'm holding on to something that I thought that I could block out of my mind. You can't block something like that sort of trauma out of your mind. What and you know what he went through. And Losing a brother, that's always hard enough, man. You know what I mean? Uh, And the fact that he feels like he blames himself. They were just kids and they were going out, having fun and exploring, you know. And and it's funny how he made the character an explorer as well. Uh, But no, very sad, man. Very sad episode. Very realisation episode. Uh, I'm interested to see where they go with this character as well now. Because now we've got his... Like, these characters are going to come back. Because when we saw Stephen go in that part, I'm like, oh, no, man, this is... He can't lose that character. But I feel like he'll come back maybe later on, but we'll get introduced to Jake in the next season or in the next episode. Yeah, maybe. I mean, look, just because Stephen's dead in that afterward doesn't mean he's dead in the real world, right? Because Mm. in the real world, Mark's still going to be dealing with these things, but I think he's at peace with it, but I don't think he's going to give it up or whatnot. And yeah. I think he finds value in Steve. <clears throat> Steve was the one that at the end of the episode said, it's not your fault. Like, it's not your fault. Like, that's, that's, 
even though it was himself saying it, but I think he still finds value in Steve in able to move forward, right? And not living with that guilt. Um, so I think Steve's definitely coming back. But yeah, look, I think one of the things is we're on the last episode and, you know, are we going to see a big dramatic battle scene? Because that's what we want to see. I mean, we saw Moon Knight. He had some good fights. It was awesome. But I want to see a big battle scene with Moon Knight, man. And are we mm. going to get that in, in the third episode? Most probably, yes. But is it going to be long? I want to see a big, long battle scene, man. Let's see what happens, man. I mean, of course, is this just the beginning or yeah. whatnot? Uh, and I think this was a great story arc for me personally. Like, I think yeah. this is a great story arc of, of this character. Um, one of the most emotional, like I said, but I want to see more Moonlight. Listen, is Marvel going to do it again? They're going to give us a big, big thing in episode six. They've done it with all the other shows. Are they going to put like a blade in it? I keep saying that he's in the UK. Well, he's in Egypt now, but they were in the UK. Blade did show up at the end of Eternals when with, with Black with Black Knight. He was in the UK. Is is there gonna be a scene at this at the end of the show where Steven's walking about saying, All right, all right, mate, see you later, alligators and whatnot? And then Blade comes up to him and he's and, and says something. I don't know, bro. I'm just visualizing <laughs> shit because I'm moist. But that's what I feel like. Blade's in London for some reason. I don't know when this show takes place exactly, if it's in the timeline or whatnot. But mm. Blade was in London when he went up to Black Black Knight in Eternals. So will he show up in this one in London to say what's up to Moon It'll Knight? be interesting, bro. Definitely be an interesting one to see if somebody I, pops up into this. But I guess that's just my theory and that's what I want to happen because I'll be effing awesome so i'm not gonna swear that'd be awesome that'd be amazing but show blink please show show <laughs> mahersh ali show that sword yeah. or something don't <laughs> don't just be a voice don't be a voice that was a basic that was not done well my no, no, no. i know i know um uh, that's cool all right man well I look, think... look i just wanted to say i know we're gonna lock off now because i gotta go break my fast we're gonna try something new this week man <clears throat> dr strange comes out normally we never do spoiler reviews straight away but i'm gonna do Two, because I watch it a day before you, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to watch it twice before you've even watched it once. Sorry, I'm not showing sure off. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, but I'm in the future, bro. I'm in the future. Um, I'm going to do a, two reviews, bro. One non-spoiler, one spoiler. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to do it. And then after Thursday, when I watch it again, I'm going to do another spoiler review of everything else I might have captured and whatnot. But cool. we're going to, I'm going to, let's try it out. Like, and if, if the audience, who, again, we're going to put big warnings and shit because we don't want to spoil it for everyone. Um, and if you, if you haven't seen it, don't watch spoiler reviews, but I would love to just kind of, I want to express the excitement of everything I saw. Like you saw how happy I was just to see freaking Professor X's yellow push chair. <laughs> no push chair. He's a, shit, he's a floating glider thing. <laughs> Bro, that made me excited. So I want to come back after I've seen it and say guys this is what I just saw yeah, but yeah, yeah. We'll, put, we'll put big spoiler warnings but I'll do a non-spoiler one as well but bro Wednesday is going to be the best day because I got Multiverse of Madness at 1 o'clock uh, p.m. I took the week off work I took the rest of the days off work <laughs> and then come back from home I got Moon Knight Woo, what a day bro what a day it's going to be sick it's going to be sick it's gonna be it's gonna be we've seen it on Thursday and I'm booked for Friday so I'm excited very exciting week ahead of us. I'm busy at work as well, so it's going to be nuts, but I'm excited because of that. So uh, my mind's going to be switched off for a bit, but I'm excited to see it all together, man. So, no, awesome. All right, guys, as always, massive thank you for listening in and watching us on YouTube, guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. I do ask for a bit of feedback, guys, so make sure you jump into the comment sections, let us know where all your thoughts. And then follow us on our social media pages, Twitter and Instagram, guys, and TikTok. We're on all three of those. And we are on all streaming platforms, guys. You guys can hear us anytime you want. We have an episode that comes out on a Tuesday, which is the weekly podcast. And we have an episode that comes out on Thursday, which is a geek cat session with Clinton, who is through the cow. We talk about Batman. We talk about comic book. We talk about growing up. And then we talk about training as well. He does a... Uh, He's a, he's, a, he's a personal trainer. He uses these devices that you, it's what, not devices, it's a bodysuit you put on that sends out electro, it's like, I don't know, electro, electric pulses. Is that right? Okay, okay. But it's interesting, so. very interesting. Yeah. But it's like a, you do a hour workout in 20 minutes because it will start working on different types of your muscle. It's like those uh, stomach trainers, man. I don't know what they're called, the mm, pads. Okay. But they're in the yeah. suit, so it works on different parts of your body. But yeah, okay. so another great episode. So I'm looking forward for that to coming out as well, guys. But as always, man, massive, massive thank you to you all. And uh, yeah, we'll for sure. see you on the next and episode. 
Yeah, and again, just quickly, uh, the fight video will be out. <clears throat> fight talk uh, will be out as well about the recent <clears throat> fights, and then uh, Moon Knight spoilers and Marvel uh, Multiverse of Madness spoilers. Hey, um, I'm loving all the new uh, geek out sessions you're doing. <clears throat> I saw the one with um, the photography girl. <clears throat> I forgot her name. That was awesome. Uh, Risha. Yeah, yeah, Risha. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. So yeah, keep those up. Those are awesome, bro. Uh, cool. Awesome, man. Well, look, man, I'm going to break my fast. It's almost time. Oh. A bit of sushi. I guess I'm KFC today. They got this KFC taco thing where the taco oh, is the chicken. Is the chicken, And in, in the middle is like mac and cheese. I'm like, oh, that looks kind of interesting. So Damn. might be one of those today. <laughs> yeah. All <laughs> right, bro. Me. Losing tomorrow, boy, in the toilet. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, cool. Enjoy, man. And uh, uh, we'll speak before that anyway, bro. Yeah, for sure. We'll catch All up right. soon. I'll call, well, you, I'll call you guys during Eid. Uh, Eid yes, Mubarak definitely. to my peoples. Yes, Eid Mubarak to everybody. Peace.